Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. May I know what's your name? Amber Bati. And uh, um, may I know how long have you been Muslim? About 13 years. Oh wow. And uh, may I know what were you before you became Muslim and what age were you if you don't mind? Um, actually when I converted I was 17. Mm -hmm. Before I converted I didn't have a religion. Mm -hmm. My parents didn't really practice religion in the home. They went in and out of churches different churches and Mormon, Catholic, you name it. And I went to church with my friends and it was only Baptist church. And um, I used to argue <laughs> with the Sunday school teacher about how Jesus could possibly be the son of God. They would always shut me up. Mm -hmm. So I knew that was not the religion for me. So anyways, fast forward from when I was a kid. Um, when I was 14 in ninth grade, I um, had a wonderful history teacher, world history teacher, who talked about all the different religions throughout the world. Mm -hmm. Basically, he emphasized a lot on Islam, even though he was a very devout Christian. But he talked about the peacefulness of Islam versus anything else. And I found it very intriguing. I happened to have a friend who was a Muslim, and I mentioned it to him. And um, subhanAllah, the next day, he gave me the Quran. Mm -hmm. So I kept that Quran at home for... Um, you know, when I was 14 until, you know, I moved out and everything. Kept it locked up in a cabinet. My parents never knew I was reading it. I compared it with the Bible. I read the whole Bible. I read the Quran. Compared what did I like and what were the differences. And it didn't seem much. But the things that were in the Quran were way more peaceful mm. described, peacefully described than what was in the Bible. Mm. So when I turned 17, I had graduated high school. Two months later, I married said friend. <laughs> who gave me the Quran, and um, two months after that, we had did a court marriage, and then two months after that, we did a nikah in this mosque, and I took my um, shahada within my heart, mm -hmm. and since then, I've been practicing. Well, uh, now, uh, w what was your parents' reaction about that? It was like a fast movement I see in your life that happened when you were like 17, 18 years old. Uh, how was your, uh, did they, did your parents know that you became Muslim, all these things? Like, how was that, you know, the process of all that? They knew I became Muslim about a week after I did. Mm -hmm. And I sent them an email because I didn't want to see the reaction, you know, yeah. um, face to face. So I sent an email and they took it surprisingly very well. Uh -huh. And um, I remember one time I was shopping with my mom and somebody asked her, the cash register lady, nice Pakistani lady, she asked her, she said, um, what do you think about your daughter wearing this? I was standing right there, completely covered, and uh, my mom said she's not worshipping the devil, she has no tattoos, she doesn't smoke, drink, or anything like that. I'm very happy. Oh, wow. If my daughter is happy, I'm happy. So it was very refreshing to hear her say that because I was unsure how they felt. Right. And that kind of made me feel really good. Right. Um, Wow. Now, were your parents living with you at that, at that time? No. When I, when I turned 17, two months, um, I graduated that same month. Two months later, I married. So. Oh, wow. So, oh, wow. That was a really fast movement yeah. in your life. That's good. Definitely. And uh, how was your life uh, after Islam? Have you turned back to Christianity or tried to think about it? Or, uh, or can you tell us a little bit about, about now? What, what do you... How do you think about it after all these years that, uh, that you came through Islam and all these things? I think I went through a lot from the time I was a child until I became a Muslim. A lot more than most kids do. Mm -hmm. And I feel like since Islam came, everything is put into place. Yeah. It's more peaceful. I feel more relaxed with myself, with everything around me. Everything is fine. And uh, what would you give a message for uh, Muslims or non-Muslims? For the non-Muslims, I would say, look into your heart. Is this the religion that, you know, what religion you are following? Is it true? Mm -hmm. um, or is it just a bunch of stuff that you were brainwashed with from either your parents or the church? And for the Muslims, I really think that um, I would like to give the message that they need to become a better Ummah and become more united because there needs to be a change in what's going on in the world. Jazakallah khair. Thank Laikum. you so much.